Hi and good evening once again to our friends, supporters, and televiewers of iGreyhound, the official talk show of Foundation University. And truly, we are once again uh, pleased and honored to be back uh, to serve the greater community as well as uh, the, the community of Dumaguete and the province of Negros Oriental. My name is Cecil Henove and this time, since we are now well on our way to preparing not only for the Diamond Jubilee Celebration of Foundation University, which is going to happen two years from today, we are all systems go, so to speak, with the so-called Casadia and Festival of Foundation in December of this year and also the forthcoming Lutas Film Festival for this month of November. So without much further ado, may I introduce our two special guests for tonight's episode of I Greyhound Friends. May I start off with the lady immediately to my left. She is actually our director for I Greyhound and she heads the creative department of Foundation University. It's her first time on uh, television, but I know that she will really uh, pull this off very excellently. May I introduce to all our televiewers, Ms. Juliet Quizon Licaros. Hi, Ms. Jewel. Good evening. Hi, Ma'am Cecil. Good evening. Hi to all our televiewers. And it's it feels awkward to be here in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, because you're always behind yeah. the camera directing all of us. But this time, we'd like our televiewers to also meet you and see your beautiful face. Thank you very much, Ms. Juliet. And beside Ms. Juliet here, is no stranger anymore to I Greyhound because we have had her here in several episodes but this time she is still in the same line or field of endeavor because this is what she is good at. She is our culture and the arts officer of Foundation University and wow, starting today or starting yesterday, she is well on her uh, she is up on her toes, uh, making sure that everything is in order for the celebration of Casadia and Festival in December. May I introduce to all our televiewers, Ms. Alexi Dagaerag Miraflor. Hi, Lek, and uh, good evening. Good evening, Mom. I'm happy to be back here at iGreyhound. Yes, these are two busy individuals uh, on <laughs> campus. My goodness, you may see them really uh, like like pretty and uh, prim and proper and everything, but behind the camera or maybe after this show, they will now be uh, in their working clothes, so to speak. May may I um, ask Miss Juliet first here? We have had Lutas Film Festival over the last nine years, Miss Juliet. Yes, and it's Foundation University that spearheads it. Maybe you can tell us this time about uh, the festival. So actually, Lutas Film Festival was born here in Foundation mm -hmm. University. Um, it was first a thesis presentation for our Broadcom students. But then we tapped with uh, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts and we were able to get the grants or funding from NCCA. It became the Provincial Film Festival. So this year, it's going to be the ninth installment of LUTAS Film Festival. Okay, imagine that, no? So it was born here in Foundation yeah. and we expanded also, Miss mm -hmm. Juliet, right? To include the Dumaguete Tourism Office, am I right? Yeah, um, for this this year, okay. uh, we are the Lutas Film Festival is co-presented by the Film Development Council of the Philippines, and it's also going to be part of the Dumaguete City's um, charter celebration. Yes, right. So it's going to happen on November 25 and 26. Okay, so that's the viewing already, Miss Juliet, yeah, of all uh, the entries. Yes, ma'am. Um, for November 25, it's going to be the opening of the Lutas Film Festival in Pantawan, Rizal Boulevard, and on November 26, it's going to be at the City Mall Cinema for the film screening of the competing films. Yes, okay. So how many entries uh, have joined us for this year? Actually, um, the last or the deadline of submission was um, days ago, November yeah. 1. Okay, So yes. um, we are still uh, to shortlist uh, mm. the films that were... Ah, okay, so great. So we will, uh, we will yeah. announce soon how many films will be on the competition. Yes, and then I think this is something that will interest our viewers as well. Is this for free or uh, do they need to pay an entrance fee when they watch the films, especially at uh, one of our malls? 
what's nice about Lutas Film Festival, it's it's always free okay. for the public to watch. But since we are holding it at the cinema, yeah. so it's going to be uh, limited seats. Ah, okay. So yeah. first come, first serve yes, yes. basis. But yeah. we will be going to put the films up um, in our channel soon. Yes, yes. So they, they will still be able to watch it yeah. online. Yeah. But the Pantawan at the Rizal Boulevard is really a good uh, venue, no? Yeah. Imagine that. It's a big, wide space. Mm -mm. Um, we actually experienced holding one screening in Pantawan before. Okay. Um, it was also during the Sandurot, um, one of the Sandurot activities, and there were a lot of viewers in the Pantawan. It's it's nice to see people um, just um, passing by and watching the film and then enjoying the film made by our locally. Um, local filmmakers. Yeah, you know that's really something uh, that we need to emphasize. Mm -hmm. This is made, produced, directed, yeah. uh, and, so, and maybe starred in no? by mm -hmm. our local uh, filmmakers. When Luta started, mm -hmm. um, it were uh, it was only um, a showcase of from showcase of films from our students, but now. Um, even professionals here in Dumaguete City are creating films. So it's made by Nagros Oriental filmmakers and now we're expanding to Region 7 filmmakers. Wow, great! So no? yeah, we're open wow. already to yes. Region 7 filmmakers, yes. not only in Nagros Oriental. Yes, yes. So I'll get back to you in a little while, Miss Juliet. Now, I'd like to talk to Alexi here because I know that every year, even during the pandemic, Miss Lex, right, we did not stop and suspend, so to speak, <laughs> our activities. We went on, although they were done very virtually but we made sure that everything is just normal no as yeah. far as our activities are concerned so this time we're going to have kasadyaan in december so tell us what is in store for everyone uh, miss lex yes ma'am so um i would like to also just thank first the well, Mom juliet also yeah. with last year <laughs> uh, it was really a very uh, fun but very challenging but you're able to to really produce a very good show last year even though it was virtual so, and we are happy to announce that we will be having the Kasajaan 2022 uh, this coming December 1 to 3. So, it's going to be a three-day event. Uh, so, the, on December 1, the highlight will be the Pasundayag. So, we, have, we now have the Pasundayag uh, competition once again. So, it's, it's the inter-department competitions that we do. We, we didn't do that last year because of the pandemic. So, now we, 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 have, it, uh, we have the competition back already. And on December 2, which is the, the, the highlight for December 2, is the Hara CFU 2023. So, and then on the last day, December 3, we will also be having the alumni homecoming in the afternoon at 2 o'clock. And then uh, at night, uh, after the alumni homecoming, we also have the Parada. So, right after the Parada, uh, we will be having the closing and we will have a short um, music festival. Uh, we will be featuring the local artists of Dumaguete also. So hopefully we can um, uh, give more details uh, in the coming weeks regarding the, the, the very um, a very huge uh, celebration <laughs> soon <laughs> this coming December. So right, yeah, you are right, Mom. We are yeah. already very busy yes. um, organizing for that. So we are very excited to have everybody <laughs> come back. And we are already anticipating a lot of people who really want to come and watch. So um, hopefully um, everybody will be able to really feel the, the excitement already as they come back and especially to our very own students. Yes, right. You know, I can, I can just imagine the build up no? of excitement and uh, the anticipation of fun for everybody, mm -hmm. students, faculty members, parents, practically yes. everyone who, and, and alumni, of course, yes. uh, practically everyone who have a stake at Foundation University because, uh, of course, in the last few weeks, we have had several activities on campus. So, uh, Ms. Lex, all these activities are going to be faced to face from the Pasundayag, as you had mentioned, face to face this time, no? Yes, so physical activities. Yes. So yeah. all of the activities face -face. now are are face to face. Okay. So um, uh, we just made a few adjustments. We are, we are still um, um, Im implementing and very um, observing yeah. the health and safety protocols right. of the university. So we we just made a few adjustments. So it's it's in person, but yeah. there are still. Um, protocols and uh, rules in place right, so that right. we can still make sure that um, all our students are safe and yeah. um, especially that the pandemic is still here, the, yeah. the, the virus is still here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. hopefully we are able to, to, uh, to still uh, mm -hmm. make it uh, like a connection with the 
pre-pandemic and then with the pandemic. <laughs> so yes, there's yes. still that. Um, it's still going to be very exciting. Yes, right. Oh, yeah, the reason why I also said that is uh, in the last few weeks that we have had some activities, the intramurals yeah. uh, and, and even the dal Uy when we mm -hmm. opened the semester, mm -hmm. uh, people came in droves no? because we had already we that's held right. it in person. Uh, so how much more no, for the Kasadia at oh, Festival? Yes, yeah, that's really going that's to be true. very nice. Yeah. <laughs> And then for Miss Juliet, Miss Jewel, um, the Lutas no, mm -hmm. is going to be participated in not only by our own students in Negros Oriental, as yeah. you had mentioned, yes. but we have expanded it as well to Region 7. Region 7. So, uh, of course, Dumaguete is part of Region 7, mm -hmm. but other cities as, as well, well. And, and maybe provinces. So, would you say, Miss Jewel, that at this point, no, even if we had the pandemic and we're still in the midst of the pandemic, Two years ago, would you say that culture and the arts, you know, is alive and well in in our province? Um, to be honest, uh, during the pandemic, I felt the um, the depression or the mm, sadness okay. of our filmmakers, especially ah. that when you create a film, you need to go outside, you need to um, talk to a lot of people, you need to do the productions outside and per location. So during the pandemic, they were really mm. Um, stuck okay, yeah. <laughs> and but despite that the Lutas Film Festival also we went online um, we provided the, uh, the filmmakers to something that they can also be busy about so we had this Lutas pitching mm. so instead of creating films or doing films it's like a competition yeah. of scripts mm -hmm. or st stories yeah. so those who will uh, win the uh, Lutas pitching will be able to have the, a grant. So when the pandemic is, um, when the protocols are loosened up or whatsoever, they can, they will be able to produce the films they pitched or the stories they pitched. Uh, aside from the Lutas pitching, we also had online screenings of the previous films. During the pandemic, uh, it was really silent from the mm -hmm. filmmakers, mm -hmm. but now they are all it's like they're alive after we yeah. announced that Lutas is back and it's yeah. going to be face to face. <laughs> they're like so active now on Facebook and they're like, um, there's a lot already yeah. of registrations, right. for, especially for our workshop. Yes, yes. It's a good thing that you mentioned the so called competition mm -hmm. no? or pitching Pitch. your, your scripts, right? Yeah. Oh, oh. So these are locally made scripts written by mm -hmm. our uh, filmmakers yeah. or anyone who may have mm -hmm. uh, the talent as well in, yeah. in writing or even have ideas that they would like to uh, create into a film. Yeah. Uh, are the, may, may I ask, Miss Juliet, are the entries that we have now? also a product of some pitching that uh, have been done I'm, I'm just wondering yeah actually mm. um the opening film okay. of our the opening film for lutas film festival was a product of mm. the lutas pitch so he andy okay. <laughs> he was uh, the winner of the lutas pitch last year so they're going to screen their f film um this coming november 25 yeah. and it's going to be the opening film so it's we are still able to give them something to do during the pandemic and now finally they are able to produce a film. It's going to be seen by everyone and in public. Okay. So it's very exciting. This is the group that won, no? Yeah. A, a, uh, Mr. Al Andy Alvarez. Andy and Stanley and, uh, Alcala. Stanley Alcala yeah. yes. This is the group makers. that won a the, the competition, the pitching the competition. Pitching competition. So this time they made the film, they went on with the film? Yeah, because uh, they received a uh, uh, production grant. Okay. Uh, 20,000 production yes, grant. Yes, yes. So Luta's pitching is like just pitching your story. So it's just like ideas yeah. and a script. So um, if you win, if you're able to win pitch, uh, Luta's pitch, then you'll be able to produce. Oh, that's Especially really great. that when yeah. you create a film, there's budget. Uh, okay. Of course, you need to um, feed your crew, yes. your cast. <laughs> so it really, it's a big deal for yes, them already, yes. the okay. production grant. Wow, exciting, no? <laughs> so in, in this sense, in this mm -hmm. sense, the Lutas Film Festival is an avenue, no? For mm -hmm. our creative uh, guys, yeah. our creative talents mm -hmm. for that matter, to really uh, hone, so mm -hmm. to speak, no? Their yeah. skills Not and express only, themselves, no? That's true, mm -hmm. Mom Cecil. Yeah. Not only filmmakers, okay. but um, I always tell my uh, the film club of Foundation University that film is not only about uh, the filmmakers who take the videos, it's also about the writers, it's the acting. So we need actors when we create film. Um, we need 
um, artist for set design. So a lot of people are involved in creating a film. So it's not only the videographers uh, or the cinematographers. So it's everyone. There's a lot of people involved in a film. So it's nice to always keep Lutas alive, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. that um, it's an it's the only outlet or the platform to showcase the films here yeah. in Negros Oriental. Right. Uh -oh. So the people behind the camera or, or the people behind a particular mm -hmm. film, even the production and the preparation. Yeah. Wow, that's really great, <laughs> no? So all of these uh, are are a product of everyone's mm -hmm. uh, talent, expertise, yeah. and everything. A mix of talents. Yes, right. right. One, My goodness, one uh, exciting, exciting. Yeah. So that's going to be part of the. Um, Charter Day and yeah. the Fiesta Celebration mm -hmm. of Dumaguete. Yeah, great. So, Miss uh, Miss Alexi here is also very much interrelated with the culture. Of course, she handles the culture and the arts uh, aspect of Foundation University. But over the years, Miss Lek, no? have you seen the a growth? I'm, I'm interested with, with this particular phenomenon. No? The growth of talents uh, with the individuals whom you have mentored, whom you have coached, no? and their passion perhaps to really show their talents to the community uh, students these are students miss lex no yes ma'am mm -hmm. so yeah I, yeah that's true thank you for that yeah. um, mm -hmm. um during the, the we we still have students or members of um our uh, the performing groups of the culture and arts office uh they were already part of the group prior to the pandemic and then during the pandemic and then they're still here <laughs> So, I really saw that, uh, what, uh, especially when it comes to growth, like on their talent and their character as well. Because uh, it's really, the, the word that keeps repeating during the pandemic was being resilient. Yeah. And yes, I really, yes. I really <laughs> saw that in them because okay. um, pre-pandemic performing in front of an audience okay. on stage and then adjusting to performing in front of cameras, no audience and then still be able to perform and um, make the make an art out of can be music can be dance and all those things and now they are back in in person and i see them already so there's a lot of growth like in in how they sing and how they dance the discipline and also i think i would like to mention the the appreciation mm -hmm. of having that na it's not always constant that you have that opportunity to be part of the group and to to be able to to meet your group your 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 fellow choir members your fellow dancers and then you see they see somehow that they can relate to each other in the art form that they are creating and that and they're featuring and then their talent and then i'm so and i see that now especially that when we perform they are okay on stage. Mm -hmm. they, I don't really worry of them, <laughs> like you know, being so scared okay. or being conscious. Although they are still nervous, but the nerves now is more on pressure. Like we need to do really good so that after this we we, we really gave a good show. So it's not more like really scared when they cannot sing anymore. So there's none of that already. They are happy to be on stage to to be able to see audience um, clapping and then especially during the our um, activities um, recently the the intramurals so they see the, the the performances and all those things so i'm 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 certainly seeing that and i really want that to continue the growth yes. uh, so hopefully uh, when they graduate and they they bring it and then they they continue to to um, especially in their own careers they they can always look back and then realize oh I, I did that part of my life part of what um what i'm doing right now is because of my experience my growth and my journey during that uh, pre-pandemic pandemic and now i'm here yeah so right. that's that's really what i'm hoping yes, for yes yes the, the, when they when they go out and they finish their studies in foundation that's what uh, they bring to themselves and they yeah. discover for themselves and share it to everyone. Mm -hmm. And it teaches them discipline as well, no? That's both true, in yes. the performing arts and also even in film. film no? yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, discipline, <laughs> these this two uh, endeavors really would entail discipline in mm -hmm. each one. You cannot just like leave a film that you are making in the middle of, uh, of, of nowhere or yeah, in the middle of production no and then just drop it no? <laughs> yeah. or abandon a rehearsal right. mm -hmm. because you 
may not be feeling well. So it teaches them. I'm, I'm, I'm also thinking about this discipline as well as professionalism. No? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma so these two ladies, I'd like to tell our <laughs> televiewers, really have been close, uh, working very closely. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I, when I was listening to, to both of you, yes, we have been working very closely with one another yes, so. because you deal with talents, no? Mm -hmm. You deal mm -hmm. with uh, individuals who have the passion. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are mentoring them, but later on, like you let them go, no? If they graduate or if yeah. they make their own fields and so on. So at this juncture, especially that we are preparing for Lutas, no? Very soon we will mm -hmm. be viewing the films, and then for Miss Lexi who is well on her way to also making sure that Kasadiaan is going to be part of the, you know, the culture of yeah. Dumaguete and Necos Oriental. The talents that we have right now, no? uh, would, we, would we all be confident to like, let them spread their wings and say that these are the products of Foundation University? N not that we made them who they are, no? but we were with them in their struggle, perhaps, or in their journey, Miss Miss uh, Miss Juliet. Actually, the reason why I accepted okay. uh, the role or the position as festival director yeah. of Lutas is because I want to um, encourage our filmmakers. Um, over the years, over the past few years, um, I noticed the improvement mm -hmm. of, and especially the quality of films produced, not only here in Foundation University, yeah. but in the province wow. so it's nice to be um, a tool or it's nice to mm -hmm. be at help mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. these filmmakers yeah. who don't have access to networks especially yes. in the industry so this is their instrument and we are proud that we are hosting it mm -hmm. annually yeah. and we are not giving up on our local yes. filmmakers and hopefully in the future or yeah, in the near future, we will be able to see um, filmmakers from Foundation University mm -hmm. or in Dumaguete City screening internationally. Yes, so, right. Oh, yeah. oh. Wow, you have come a long way, no? This is the ninth, ninth year already, yeah. yes. Uh, it's a good thing you mentioned. Uh, <laughs> you're the festival director. Yeah. Uh, did, did you do this while you were still a student here at Foundation? Um, Ms. Actually, Jude? I was part of the very first LUTAS when I was okay. still a student. Ah, okay. So I was part... Uh, so I that was, was nine years ago? Or no, uh, we uh, uh, Lutas Film Lutas, Festival stopped okay. in 2016. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be the tenth year. Already, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we it skipped one year okay. because mm -hmm. of the transition of the positions okay, or okay. the job roles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was with uh, the Luta first Lutas. Um, I was part of the thesis group. Mm -hmm. um, my thesis was presented at the uh, at the Robinsons Place, Dumaguete, and. I also met NCCA volunteers and officers that time. Yeah. So I was also part of the discussion okay. um, to have LUTAS yeah. as the provincial film festival. Yes, yes. And uh, you were able to conduct workshops, right? Yeah. Uh, to invite as well and invite mm -hmm. uh, filmmakers, no? Every National. year, yes. Oh, good. Um, every year, we LUTAS is presenting or giving our filmmakers free mm -hmm. workshops given by the industry artists wow. or directors yes. um, to build more mm -hmm. um, you know connection yes yes so and they'll I, be able yeah. to collaborate yeah. and i think it would be good to mention this no that we have now the foundation university film club yeah yeah <laughs> oh, oh. You, which you had actually revived no so to speak after uh, the pandemic at first they okay. were they wanted it to be a camera club okay. but um, i see the, yeah. you, as I mentioned yes, a while yes. ago, that mm -hmm. film is involves a lot of artists, and it it will make them um, explore more, in, especially within their selves. Yeah, right. So I suggested that they make it um, a film club, mm -hmm. and now they're like very active. Mm -hmm. um, the students are already mm -hmm. make, creating films, not only for themselves but for Foundation University. Yes, so it's yes. really fun, yeah. and they also volunteer from time to time mm -hmm. to to document the events here yeah. in Foundation University. Okay. Yes. Are, are, yeah, before I uh, ask uh, Alexi as well, are, are students now more attuned to the production aspect of, of anything, not just in broadcast communication, mm -hmm. but in anything, no? Uh, yeah. wh whatever disciplines uh, they may mm -hmm. be in. This is one thing, um, what's nice about Foundation University is that um, we are very advanced in um, media, in technology and we're also sharing that knowledge and the technology to our students so it not um, just like this um, production the tv studio 
um, our cameraman right now is a student and okay. he's not even a broadcast communication yes. student. He's That's an good. IT okay. student mm -hmm. and we are opening not only to broadcast communication yes. or any course related to communication, but everyone, everyone, every student who's willing or who's passionate about yeah. um, videography, mm -hmm. photography, they are all welcome here. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. My gosh, no. So anyone who has the passion, or yeah. anyone who may have the passion, the mm -hmm. the the interest, no, yeah. oh, oh, to be part of any production yeah. for that matter, they and could. And film be. club is yeah. composed of a lot of you know, um, courses. Yes, <laughs> So okay. it's a mix of um, the yeah. departments and colleges yeah. of foundation. Yeah, great. Thank you very much, Miss Jewel. And then for Lexi, Lex, your performing groups are also like uh, yeah. like uh, Miss uh, Juliet here, a mixture mm -hmm. of students from various disciplines, yes, no? Well. Okay, so how, how are you able to spot if one student has the potential? Do you do you hold screenings or do you invite? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So, um, Right now, um, I we um, we have four performing groups, uh, but um, of different na genres, for example, um, and different um, fields of art. So we have the Abu Huni Choir, Bugla Sayo Dance Troupe, and then the Abu Huni Marching Band, and we recently uh, added the Greyhound Dance Crew. So all four of them uh, went through screening, and then so we we only we have a very limited. Um, number of members per groups um, so that they can also enjoy um, scholarships mm -hmm. and so and um, when they when they went through the screening that's where we see the the potential how they are um, especially when they when they uh, they, they perform and then so with with that with the with the screening and then right now when they perform we are really very happy that, uh, like, like when, like I said uh, a while ago, the growth is already there. Yes. So I am so fortunate and very blessed to yeah. have very, very talented. We have a great pool of um, um, students who are very talented in the university. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I have seen them perform as well, <laughs> yeah, no, yes, in several yeah. of our events here on mm -hmm. campus, and you can see the well. Of course, the talent is mm -hmm. there, no. Yes. You can see the well. We can call it a passion, no, because they were not really forced to yeah. be part yes. of these <laughs> performing groups. Yes, they can so. either choose not to, no, mm -hmm. even if they may have the talent. I think that's really very important as well, no, Miss Jewel. Mm -hmm. You may have the talent, uh, Lex, but mm -hmm. you you don't. You're not forced anyway. Yeah. You know? yeah. it's, it's really your choice. Your own oh, yeah, there's oh. rehearsals, there's yeah. commitment that you need to consider Correct. because okay. uh, there's, there's, there are certain expectations yes. because you need to perform, you have to be ready all the time. Mm. So that's the, that's, that's the, that's the very um, amazing thing that they understand that mm -hmm. and then they are very professional about mm -hmm. it. They really perform their best every mm -hmm. time. So I'm very, very blessed to have um, these four groups. Yeah. And, and Miss Juliet and Lex, I think Foundation University is one institution that encourages no, students to you know, explore all possibilities, mm -hmm. whether you have activities inside the campus mm -hmm. or whether you can also serve the community through various yeah. means. And we understand that perfectly well. No? St uh, per uh, sorry. Faculty members, teachers understand that perfectly well. Mm -hmm. So, how, how do we balance, for example, no, uh, schoolwork with with uh, with performance, performances, in fact, activities, mm -hmm. out of town trips, and then for for lutas, well, they may not exactly be students <laughs> anymore, yeah, no, because yeah. we open it to professionals. But the production mm -hmm. aspect as well. Oh, oh, maybe Miss Jewel first. Um, I guess if you're really passionate yeah. about something, you yeah. will be able to make time for it. Right. So, um, Foundation University has been, especially our president, has been really supportive yeah. with when it comes to arts yes. and other um, and with the culture. So, um, we are able to not only produce films inside or create our art here inside Foundation, but also share it with the community. So, even um, for the Broadcom students, they have. Um, school in the air before yeah, which okay. um, were participated not only by the students mm -hmm. and faculty but also the um, other um, people from mm -hmm. outside the university mm -hmm. and we have the architectures studio damgo yes, um, it's yes. always funded by um, agencies that are yes. outside foundation university 
And also, every after the production or the development of their project, they always turn, turn it over to the community. So mm -hmm. it's always been like that with the Foundation mm -hmm. University's yeah. mm -hmm. um, culture yes, or yes, system. Oh, yeah, so I oh, think oh. Um, it's um, we are right. mm -hmm. we are. It's like we're we're being readied or mm -hmm. we're being developed oh, oh, yeah. already to oh, oh. Um, c connect with the community yeah, oh, oh. Um, even when you are still a student. Yes, yes. You know, that's very important, mm -hmm. no? connecting yeah. no? to the community and not remain like you are out of touch mm -hmm. no? from the community yeah. because we are here, we're part of the community. Yeah. So, Miss Lex, you, your your groups really have been mm -hmm. like uh, going out on uh, on trips, no? Mm -hmm. very active, especially very recently as well. Yes, mm -hmm. um, we are very happy that uh, as soon as ev um, we are having blended learning yeah. now that they can come in person, yes, yes. Um, especially with the vaccinations and all, mm -hmm. those, and all those things that it's safe for them mm -hmm. to go out. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to balancing, um, balancing studies yeah. and also being a member of the performing arts group, I always tell them that studies is always a priority. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's why they need to, to really be good at their, their studies, their grades are okay, not necessarily you know, you know, really high grades, but uh, the, their grades are fine um, because they are, they are, like I tell them also, that they are also representatives of the university. So when they go out, they are also essentially promoting the university. So um, when there are invites for them, I always make sure that there are no exams, that there are no um, long exams or midterms or all those things because I really wanted them to focus on their studies and um, the rehearsals as much as possible are, are uh, really starting on time and end on time so that they can really um, sort of um, in their own time time management in their in whatever they do because it's really different when you're a member of the performing groups and a student because um, the one thing is there's a lot of things that you need to balance but the good thing is you always have that outlet so whatever stress you are in in studies when you go and perform and sing and dance you, that's that's always something that's an outlet for your stress and it it somehow comes up with the um, like a uh, what do you call that um, an overall mm -mm. you know an impact on themselves a complete learning yeah. like the cognitive affective yes. and the psychomotor yeah. or, or so holistic, all there no? holistic, holistic na, yeah. that's the word so mm -mm. it's all there so yeah. that, that's the that's the good thing I, I keep telling them that it's all you always have to always uh, prioritize your studies and yeah. sometimes the parents are apprehensive because ah they're mm -hmm. they're always they're you know, they might go uh -oh. and just practice and all that so I, I don't I really don't um, encourage that too much practice or too mm -hmm. much rehearsal time yeah. I always encourage them to balance everything yeah. and to always express themselves mm -hmm. through the different forms of art that they are part, uh, yeah. especially in their individual performing mm -hmm. groups. And yeah. FU has yeah. um, a mm -hmm. nice system. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we have these Wednesdays um, mm -hmm. that they can just mm -hmm. do whatever okay. they want. Yes, yes, yes. So, no? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, foundation really is um, preparing students to be yeah. ready oh, as a professional. Yes, yes. Okay. Because mm -hmm. here yeah. inside they need to manage yeah. their time. Yes. So. Um, they need not to um, too skip much on one yeah. day and too much <laughs> no? on the other yeah, day. They, classes. Yeah, because oh. they have Wednesdays, yeah. free Wednesdays, okay. so yeah. they're yeah. able to yeah. do that. So things. Wednesdays in the university, this is something like our free, not really free day, but mm -hmm. a time for us to devote to our extracurricular yeah, okay. or co-curricular activities, mm -hmm, right. maybe meetings, rehearsals. They can have yeah, workshops, yeah. meetings, oh, 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 yeah. seminars. Right. Yeah. 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 Even for faculty members, no? that's yeah. also a time Same, for faculty no. members not <laughs> to Wednesdays, attend the uh, yeah. workshops and mm -hmm. so on. Yeah, that's really very good. So, yes, preparing our students mm -hmm. uh, to be able to connect no, or serve the community after they finish school yeah. or while they are in school. Yeah. No? yeah. And then, yeah, I... I uh, I have gathered, of course, no, and even members of the Dumaguete community uh, has seen or have seen how Foundation University connects mm -hmm. no, to the community and, and, and be generous no, with our talents, be generous with the people that we have and share them, of mm -hmm. course, to the community. Now, uh, you, you two ladies will really be working very closely with one another and, in fact, 
uh, also prepare no the talents that we yes. have but in your in your involvement no for for miss juliet who is head of our creative department i know you're servicing the entire university <laughs> no we're we're only talking about lutas my goodness uh, our televiewers but miss juliet actually is all over the university no and uh, we we uh, ask her to really produce very good uh, and quality productions but she does that very well and then for miss lexi here practically all the four the the performing groups that she has mentioned uh it's difficult miss let's not to manage to supervise my goodness <laughs> maybe impose discipline on these uh, individuals because they come from uh, various disciplines mm -hmm. as a matter of fact no? so this is not where i am coming in <laughs> how do you instill discipline as well in yourselves because i think we have to start with ourselves <laughs> right so that you it will radiate to the individuals whom you are closely working with, not only the students, but of course, Miss Lexi here is also servicing, like Miss Juliet, the entire university. university. <laughs> yeah, Miss Juliet, <laughs> my gosh, I, I cannot be in your shoes. Yeah, <laughs> I mentioned uh, a while ago that um, Foundation University is really preparing its students for the real world. Um, since I'm a product yeah, of Foundation right. University, yes. I think I was able to adopt the ah, okay. uh, the system here. Okay, since I was good. very active at yeah. this TV, TV studio, mm -hmm. I, I was given the opportunity to not only do, um, you know, the technical stuff, but also to um, connect with mm -hmm. people in the industry, yeah, to yeah. send invites. I was yeah. tasked to, hey, connect with the people at the industry so that we can have a guest during Luta. So. Mm -hmm. I was really prepared during my student days, yeah. so I was able to, um, it's like a routine yeah. already. But of course, there's pressure yes. whenever there's uh, major activities <laughs> in the university, but we make sure that um, we produce contents yeah. on time right. because um, our role is very important. and. I think it's just um, I'm thankful for the training right, yes, that I yes. received from yeah. Foundation University, and I'm able to, you know, um, adapt yeah. naturally. Yeah. Or, yeah. And then now you share you share these, no? Yeah. Uh, and share these experiences uh, yeah. to our students as well. Yes. Yeah. And then for Miss Lex, discipline is really important, no? In both your uh, yes, endeavors. That's true. So, um, I'm yeah. That's really also true that we especially with the creative department really are working close together so i was jokingly saying before the pandemic we need to be bffs because we need to do a lot of things together that's true, that's yeah right. because there's yeah whatever we do they feature it and whatever mm -hmm. they do we can also feature it so it's yeah. it's a it's a great relationship that we have with uh, the creative department collaboration between, uh, the department yeah so we are actually in the field of arts which yeah. is really mm -hmm. a very so when it comes to discipline um Especially for us, um, we also, in my case, I really want to be able to uh, to lead by example. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, uh, in order for my directors to to be, you know, to also instill discipline in their individual groups, I also do that. So I make sure that if I say I should come at this time, I'm there. If I say I need this, I'm it's already done, so that they can they can see oh, okay she's she's doing it so mm -hmm. let's also do that yeah. and so far that has helped mm -hmm. uh, especially when it but but sometimes i also say to myself that there's always a 10 percent chance that it, that something might not you okay. know go my way mm -hmm. so that helped a lot because if you are especially in the field of events and all those things if you really want everything to be perfect and there's no one no, there, that's really that's really like a very thin chance of having the entire thing uh, perfect. So I always say to myself that there's always going to be a 10% chance that something <laughs> might happen sure. so that I will not be too, you know, stressed on myself or all of that. So that's how I mm -hmm. tend to to balance things out and to to be able to to discipline myself and to not Sometimes if I if I see if it's this is too much, I think I cannot I know I I don't I don't really go Though I do take risks sometimes, but calculated risks where is it possible to be? But if it's not, then I just don't do it. I don't risk it. Or or be hard on yourself, that's ladies. The, yeah, that's <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Sometimes I, 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 I ask Become myself. Become other things na lang. Yeah. Yeah. Watch ko as <laughs> K-drama. So. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's why, no? The reason why I ask that also is how do you 
like uh, ma- managed to keep both body and soul <laughs> together especially that i think both of you ladies i i don't think you have weekends no mm. you know <laughs> even if you're home i think you're thinking of a production exactly. thinking of a rehearsal mm. conceptualizing something so yeah miss jewel <laughs> my do you have especially now I that you're newly married huh? <laughs> I oh, think yes. it's just a balance. Okay. Um, there are days when we are really busy, yeah. and then there are really, um, you know, a lax um, days. Okay. So it's just a balance, and it's uh, during the pandemic. Pandemic, uh, we were really pushing with um, mm, the every... blended hara. Yeah, so, so it was. Um, a mixture of online and also physical <laughs> because we really miss also the pressure that um, the production, the live production is giving us. Yes. So there's sometimes um, it's it's Certainly. just always a balance. Yeah, so. Ms. Ms. Lex and, and also the man, man, managing, yeah. I think, no? Yes, yeah, so, the, so the managing, yeah. yeah so yeah. We're all, I'm also managing an office, so there's there's a lot of uh, the things that you need to balance mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. And then that's true, like when you go home, okay, what's gonna happen? Yeah. Gonna, <laughs> do I have something Conceptualize to... Conceptualize during so, the You don't stop being <laughs> creative it, individuals. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. true. Mm. There, th- that's true. There's no weekends, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So every Sunday, you're like, okay, what's gonna happen on Monday? Do <laughs> right, I, uh, have right, I missed right, something? Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sometimes that when that happens, I write it down yeah. mm-hmm. so that my mind is... Um, it's, it's done because sometimes there are new ideas that comes mm-hmm. up comes to mind. Yeah. And so I write it down yeah. so that I won't keep thinking, that's a good idea. Yeah, right. <laughs> and all that. Yeah. So I just write it okay. because if I don't, I, I lose it and yeah. then all that. So mm-hmm. that's, that's it. But um, I always make sure that at least um, Sundays, if there's a time for, for me to not think of work. <laughs> so that's why yeah. I, I always, uh, we always like each other when we post something okay. like on K-dramas. Because it takes away the, yes, yes, you know, yes, the, yes. the work that we right. need to do when we're in school. Yeah. But, but, not, not, but that's, I know. I'm always excited for challenge. I mean, for me, I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's, I know, yes. it's, this is always a good yeah. thing. But um, we are also, I think we both also know that mm-hmm. we need to sometimes um, Be, you know, take it turn easy. off first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. And then <laughs> when we are in, in work, then work, work, work. Mm-hmm. And then when, yeah. when we are home, and now that you are married, so <laughs> your husband will, will already know. But I think he knows it already. Yes, yeah, so yeah, all right. the dynamics He's actually of also participating. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, and even also uh, the uh, hobby uh, of... Uh, yeah, my husband also is yeah. like, okay, carrying all those things <laughs> for me. Yes. What is this? Oh, you can, okay, he has good. me. So yeah, I think it's like, also... Um, yeah. Yeah. It's also um, loving our jobs. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, that's correct. why it's so it's not work at all, no. It's yes, not, yeah. it's not really work per se, no. Mm-hmm. Work like uh, a burden, no. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not. It's not. It's yeah, not. because we are really, you know, we, we love our job. Right. Yeah, love because our, I'm a yeah. filmmaker yeah. and I'm Mom Alexis also. Oh, well, yeah, in I'm music, in music, yes, music so, performing, yeah, and performing. Performing. Oh, so. oh. Yeah, right. And then see, Miss Lex uh, mentioned something about a 10% possibility of something that goes wrong, <laughs> yes, no? Uh, oh, oh. Thus, a... you should not be too hard on, on yourselves. Mm-hmm. But if you're the perfectionist yeah, yeah, that I a... know mm-hmm. you you both are, no? sometimes <laughs> we say, oh, I could have done better. <laughs> oh, but mm-hmm. the so-called Murphy's Law, yes. even if you had prepared for <laughs> yeah, it really there's well, always some, yeah, something, there's always something, something bad meant to happen. Oh, oh yeah, that it is meant to happen. Oh, my, my goodness. Yeah. So in the few minutes that we have left, uh, Miss Juliet and Miss Perhaps you can uh, spur the interest no, uh, of our viewers and then invite them to our forthcoming activities. Miss Juliet first for Lutas. So to our televiewers, um, this, this coming November 25 and 26, it's going to be the ninth installation of Lutas Film Festival. And we are opening it to Region 7 filmmakers already. So I hope you can visit our page for more details. And there's a pre-registration forms. So hopefully you can check that out. And also, um, we have guest directors from um, Manila. Uh, they're coming over here. So I hope um, you could also participate in the workshops that we are going to have. So Lutas also is part of the Dumaguete City's Charter Day celebration. So see you at the Pentawan on November 25 and on November 26 at City Mall Cinema. Wow, Dumaguete. that's really great. Yeah, something to look forward to. Yeah. Yeah. And then Miss Lexi? Uh, yes, so um, I am so happy and excited to announce that we will be having our Casa Diaan 2022 uh, this coming December 1 to 3. 
and then I'm sure that all our students, especially those who haven't seen and experienced those um, events this uh, for the past few years, and for those who already have, have surely missed it. So we will have it back, and then so we will be having the Pasundayag, the Hara sa FU 2023, and of course the Parada. So hope everybody will be um, able to, to join and have fun with all of the students in Foundation University and also for our alumni. Yes, wow, so many things to yeah. look forward to, so many events, so many activities, but this is also leading towards the second semester or the yeah, start semester. of our uh, second term, mm -hmm. no? and also, of course, the second semester. So thank yes, you very much, ladies. I pulled you out of your busy schedule. I know Alexi, and I think all of uh, the, the three of us are supposed to be in a particular meeting, but we made time. We yeah. made time, look at that. We made time to be here for this particular episode yes, of iGray well. Health. So thank you once again. Our director. Her name is Julia Quizon Licaros, who we pulled out as well from her regular job no? and be a guest here. And of course, Miss Alexi Dagaerag Miraflor. I know that she has also been very busy over the last few days, but they made time. Both of you ladies made time. So thank you once thank again. You. But we will have you also still no? in our future episodes for our forthcoming activities. So we've got friends we bring to a close. Another very nice, uh, exciting episode of I Greyhound as we prepare for activities lined up here at Foundation University, which our general community will also be able to enjoy. And yes, please do not forget to follow and like our Facebook page as we are also being streamed live on the Facebook pages of Foundation University and also of Channel 6 of Phil Products TV Dumaguete. Our replays are on Fridays and Saturdays at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 3 in the afternoon on Channel 6. And yes, thank you once again to my stylist, Miss Nicole Kalumpang of Moda34 for my beautiful clothes on the show and yes i will leave you with this note if you cannot find happiness create your own happiness this has been cecile henove bidding everyone a pleasant evening second year here in Lutas and it's always a fun experience and it's very insightful at the same time very inspiring. It's very important to support these kinds of events, a film festival that showcases the local talents. It's through filmmaking that we get to know the culture and the perspective of a region. The next step is to learn more sa among crafts as a film as filmmakers and to have fun.
this week. So for last week, uh, we actually had discussed about um, the different uh, ways as to how communicate effectively. We've also discussed about globalization and even what is being classified in this sentence. The Philippines. Yes, the Philippine geography or the geographic divide of the Philippines, which is being classified to three again. What are these three classifications? Very good. So that's how you would classify things. You somehow break a particular a big part, you would break it into small divisions. That is classifying. Clear?